Japan has become way too popular for its own good, and this year they are having more tourists than ever before in its history. And one thing is for certain, tourists ruin everything. That's what many people in Japan have been thinking lately, which is why the government has started denying access to certain places from tourists. So far the areas where tourists aren't allowed to go are pretty minimal, but only time will tell until they close their borders again. After hearing this I couldn't resist the temptation and I had to travel to the worst tourist trap in Japan. And that's exactly why we have come to Asakusa, the number one tourist spot in Japan, to see how bad things actually are. Shall we? The first thing you notice when you come to Asakusa is the incredible number of tourists taking pictures and packing themselves to the small shopping street to buy authentic Japanese items made in China. The local people call this the Nakamise shopping street, but I call it the Bakamise mosh pit. That right there is the main shopping street, but I honestly have to say I don't know if I can go there. I just I cannot stand the crowds and uh, I don't know. It's just horrible walking there. Just constant noise around you. You're stepping on people's shoes. Uh, I regret trying to do this video right now. But let's not forget, there's nothing inherently wrong with touristy places, since the reason they are popular is because they are worth checking out, for one reason or another. So how about you and me together find out just what it is that makes Asakusa worth checking out? Sure, the main shopping street with all the tourists might be a bit headache inducing, but at least nobody is trying to grab people to come to their stores. And there doesn't seem to be any tourist scams going on, like in many other countries and places. The tourists themselves are also acting relatively nice, even though they might take some liberties when it comes to the rules. Here in Asakusa you notice that there's a lot of these guys. Uh, they're the Jin Riksha guys. Uh, they pull the cart behind them and you can ride and go to like a tourist uh, route with them. But I think it costs like 50 bucks per, uh, for 30 minutes. So definitely something I cannot afford. But maybe it's funny for a tourist. Maybe, but not for me. I'm not a huge fan of crowded places, which is actually pretty nice that uh, this temple, Asakusa area, has this um, kind of a side alley area that I can enjoy myself because the the main road right there with the, all the shops and everything that that is like hell to me I cannot be there just just <laughs> one thing you notice in here that there's like they're okay but <laughs> <laughs> but don't expect all of them to be exactly what they are saying. There are still some cherry blossoms in the trees, which is pretty nice, since they usually bloom only about a week. So, in general, it was a good time I came today. If you're wondering why all the statues have red clothing in them in Japan, it's simply to ward away danger and bad spirits. Why? I don't know. One thing you see here quite often is these kimono rental places, like this one, 
but um, you would never see me wear one, simply because we all know it's cultural appropriation. Now here's the thing, until Japanese men start wearing suits, I'm not wearing a kimono, that's a promise. One thing I don't think anyone can argue against is that Japan is incredibly beautiful in the spring, no matter where you go. Asakusa is a huge area, but mostly when people go there or talk about it, they mean this area that surrounds the Sensoji Temple. Behind me is the Sensoji Temple. Uh, it's big, it's old, uh, people visit here. <laughs> I don't know, what do you want me to say? I don't know the history. Come and see it yourself. It's nice. Now this reminds me of something, but I'm not exactly sure what. Let's see how bad our fortune is today. And uh, yoinks. <laughs> okay, there we go. Goji uh, Rock 56. Yep, matches. There we go. Let's see. Now if you draw a horrible fortune, you're supposed to tie your paper to here to kind of put your luck back to factory settings. Now this isn't the best fortune, but I live with my choices, so I ain't gonna do that. These Shiba prints are the bomb. I, I really want a t-shirt of like this one. This rule. Since this area is full of all kinds of restaurants and Japanese snacks, at this point I cannot resist and I must buy something myself too. Anthony Bourdain was right, Japanese food is the best. Since we're here, let's check out the underground area too, because it actually is pretty impressive. This is the famous Asakusa underground. It is not as popular as it once used to be, but it still is really cool, especially atmosphere-wise. So if you're ever around here, don't just be up there. Come down here too. I came across this standing soba restaurant and even though I wasn't really feeling hungry, I just couldn't miss the chance to try it out. Ah, Mm. 
ちなみになんか前に比べると地下街にはあんまり人がいないかな,なんか地下街でここで前に来た時に結構人がいたけどあ夕方結構いる手があるあ夕方かあはい分かりました After spending a day in the worst tourist trap in Japan, I feel like tourists in here are doing what tourists do everywhere. And to me, everything is fine. Asakusa also has some minor flaws, but overall, it's a really cool place to visit, and the best part is that it's easily accessible. So, if you're in Tokyo, definitely check it out. On my way home, I saw this guy selling some stuff on the road, so I had to check it out. I love it when people sell stuff like this outside, especially when they aren't pushy about it, and just let the customer check out what they have in peace. If you have time, check out my other video where I visit a market full of people selling stuff like this.